Uh, we're asking all of the nearby villages, have you seen the legendary Berry Thief? Berry ah, Thief! Oh, no. ah, the Berry oh, Thief! No. Curse his name! I haven't laid eyes on him, but we've heard tales enough. Hey, the conniving bastard and his gang of raiders, swindling our neighbors of their harvest. Boys of our father figures haven't seen the tears of bakers. Oh, yeah, bakers. Oh, the last village they raided weren't no good soil after the berries were gone and they struck famine near six months. <laughs> I heard he's a monster. Grew a third arm out of his back to hold the basket he steals all his berries I, I, in. And he's the size of a church with uh, six tentacles and uh, eyeballs on the tentacles from his victims. Oh, yeah, I don't like that guy. That guy. Oh, oh, he's got six tentacles. Oh, you simpletons. Oh. It's known through published literature that Raider Coon and his Neko companion collect berries to gain the favor of Princess Kokasha. He loves his childhood Raider friend, Hakaruke. That was proven on canon, you asshole. Shut up, all of you. I know and have seen the Berry Thief. I've seen the Berry Thief because I was one. Oh, oh, no. All right, then how many tentacles do you have? Oh, all right. It wasn't honest work, no. We caused a lot of strife. But I broke off with them, gained the favor of a duke, so I'm a free man. So what exactly happened? Oh, what's gonna happen to us? Pull up a chair and I'll tell you how the operation ran. And we just may prepare your village to face it. This is the legend of the Berry Thieves. It always starts the same. As nomads, we move in next door to another village and use the remaining berries from last time to create our villagers. It's weird, the people just pop in out of nowhere. Hello. Then we corral the sheep into the center of town, lead them to their doom. Hey, get that sheep down from there, that's, that's weird. Afterwards, we of course revel in a boar hunt and begin chopping down the forest to provide lumber for the away team. Our scouts search high and low and eventually stumble upon the red orbs we covet so much. Then we send out the signal. Enemy sighted. A large group of villagers sets out along with the wood that we've gathered. We do our best to sneak around the enemy scouts. Tony, where'd you get that gun? I don't think those exist yet, Tony. One time we actually got ambushed by a tiger. Oh God, it's hideous. Oh, you mean like the Neko companion from Kawaii no Berry issue 17? No. And then we finally reach the fields. Oh, they're so beautiful every time we find them. We make sure nobody is around, then we get to work. Berries, 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 berries. More important than the mill are the walls, which Kevin is supposed to work on. Oh my god, Kevin, they're coming. We gotta work faster. Then we do the deed. We Empty fill our wicker coffers Empty full of the, the sweet dish. and juicy treasure. It's at about this time, the villagers in blue discover what we're doing, then they have some choice words. Some of which I won't repeat. We try to be polite in our response. Like eight berry bushes, you can spare a few, right? But it always turns into a fight. They think they have the upper hand sending in their militia, but our villagers know jujitsu. Ha! Yes! Take that! Ha! These are certainly paintings of us doing jujitsu to them. Oh, look, that guy is trying to pull guard. You want me to keep picking berries, love? Yes, mother, you're doing great. hi -ya! Oh, oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Oh, now their militia are setting fire to our palisade walls. Quickly, Kevin, prepare those walls. Uh, sir, okay, use two hammers, Kevin. Oh, good work, Kevin. Oh, phew. Oh, no, they've advanced to the feudal age. They've started constructing a watchtower to fire arrows upon us. Uh, quick, my companions, brandish your knives and silly hats. Uh, we'll poke the tower and destroy it while we pick the last berry. 
Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, yes. Oh, that tower was no match for us. Oh, make sure you get every last berry. Get your faces close to the ground. That's it. They're all gone. We got the last one. Run. Run away. We must get home to truly win the game. Oh, oh no. There's a tiger in the forest again. Ah, oh, keep the berries away from them. Oh, the gosh, there's two tigers in this painting. I just said one, but there's two. Oh, we're finally back. Finally back home. Oh, excellent. Ah, yes. Oh, victory. Home safe. We did it. Oh, oh that that guy. That guy's the berry champion. He, he picked the most berries. Oh, oh, it seems like those ladies are looking at two snacks. No, we feast. Feast, everyone. Pour the berries out. Yes. Ah, oh, oh, that one guy's making berry angels. Oh, they're so delicious. Oh, more, more feast, more. Yes, pour it into the Genesis device. The Genesis device, so may we may have our adventures anew. There's going to be a sequel. Berry Thieves 2. Hollywood's going to listen. They're going to listen to me this time. It's working. Keep worshipping, it's working. Oh, the rift has been opened! Step into the portal and feast the eyes on the sight of God! Holy shit, are you serious? Well, maybe some of that didn't happen. But we then send in our resignation to the other village, much to their confusion. And the cycle continues. The berry thief strikes again. Well, that's a hell of an act. And why do you do it again? Because, my friend, in this cruel lifetime, there are inevitabilities. You can pick your battles, pick your allies, pick your bride. But you'll never pick your berries. Wow, the berry thief's alive! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!